Back and get out. Sorry about the strap. Um, I I'm gonna go call the police. Wait, no, we need to call an ambulance. Boy, no, I'm fine. I... Ooh, boy. So, you fought the guy off? Uh, it was more of a tug of war with the handbag straps. And you won. Good on you, man. No biggie. Uh, he's okay? The hero? Yeah, he's all good. Cut your heel up nice and on time. Don't know about hero, but thank you, Billy. Keep that door locked, eh? Sure. So, you reckon I've earned my manhood back? Sure. The officer said they'd let us know if they find anything, but it didn't help that we couldn't offer a proper description. Well, he's lucky it was dark. Lucky I didn't shoot him. Sorry? Nothing. Um, hey, I'm sure you can get that strap fixed. No, I could have taken it for all I care. The lot's in my room. You took your time waking up and barking, didn't you, Barry? Some guard dog, huh? Oh, uh, you're a lover, not a fighter, aren't you? Nah, Barry has a brain. Hey? That guy could have killed you. That wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was, and what? Stupid handbag. Peace and light. That was Monica Tam. You know Monica Tam. <laughs> I told you, Vivian, we are of like mind, health-wise and holistically, and I know everyone. Monica is very keen to meet and discuss consulting for your wonderful new wellness centre. Oh, God, it might be a little premature, Leanne. Oh, don't tell me you're getting cold feet already. No. Chris isn't convinced. What? Why on earth not? He doesn't want my brand of medicine in his hospital. <sighs> Threatened by anything outside his precious journals. Typical. Well, I'm looking for other properties, but nothing ticks the boxes. Uh, maybe it's just not meant to be. You can't give up, Viv. Well, it's not worth a fight with Chris. Well, give me a chance to talk him around. You really think you can get through to him? Oh, Chris and I go way back. <laughs> well, you're welcome to try. Wonderful! If you can pull this off, I'll be forever in your debt. What are you doing? Adjusting Chris's desk. The feng shui in this room is completely out of whack, which explains rather a lot. You can't be here. Get this stuff out now. No, not until I educate our stubborn, closed-minded CEO on the benefits of natural healing. Leanne, always a pleasure. Nicole? Yeah, I, I was just dropping off a report. What's that smell? Uh, eucalyptus incense. It helps open the third eye. Please, Chris. Sit down. I want to talk to you about the many advantages of having a wellness centre in your hospital. So just imagine that, well, that you're a patient and, and perhaps you've just come through some grisly surgery. No. And, no. I've discussed I, the centre with Vivian. She's agreed to take it elsewhere. Now, would you get rid of all this, please? You heard him. Just be careful. Vivian doesn't get rid of you. Mum. Excuse me? Well, she's helping you raise your granddaughter, Chris. It flows both ways. I'm well aware of that. This centre is her dream. Crush it. And you know what she'll do? She'll ditch you. Probably for another toy boy. One who knows Reiki massage. Are you finished? You are driving her away, Chris. Just like you did with, with Michelle and Rachel. You're going to end up sad okay, and alone. Well, I'll give her now. a wellness centre, Chris. For your own sake. Please. Oh. 